African countries and cities are slowly but surely tapping into investment immigration industry and becoming up and coming places nowadays mostly for digital nomads but also investors. Digital nomads opting for multiple African cities are here looking for not only good infrastructure in terms of co-working spaces, um, good internet speed, job opportunities, uh, but also they're looking for adventure that those cities definitely can provide. And also, uh, nowadays, uh, African countries are attracting more and more uh, investments, more and more people who are willing to invest in emerging markets. So for digital nomads, this creates a good opportunity whether they want to be directly on the source um, and invest themselves into something, um, or they want to basically ride on that wave uh, of success. Hi, I'm Jana, Director of Business Development here at Nomad Capitalist, where we help seven and eight figure entrepreneurs and their families reduce their taxes legally, um, uh, search for a better lifestyle and go where they are treated the best. And in today's video, we will discuss best African cities and countries uh, for digital nomads. So what is the infrastructure place? Uh, what is the level of safety? Um, and also which of those countries do allow digital nomad visa? So we'll start without any uh, particular order, um, but one of the uh, cities that uh, very frequently is found on many digital nomad lists um, is Cairo, the capital of Egypt. So Cairo um, is uh, located in the north of country. It's an amazing city. It's a huge city. Um, but uh, the reason why it uh, also attracts digital nomad is that it has a good infrastructure in terms of internet speed. Um, it also has close to 100 co-working spaces across the city. And uh, one of the important thing is lower cost of living and access to different um, you know, adventures, different uh, cultural things. So do have a lot of uh, things to see in Cairo um, or in wider Egypt, um, North Africa and Cairo is a good hub if you want to explore um, North and Central Africa. Um, so you can um, you know, put Cairo as your temporary base and from there uh, travel um, somewhere else. It is usually, there usually have non-stop flights to um, other parts of North, Northern Africa and as well as Gulf countries. So uh, you uh, can very easily navigate around. Areas in which uh, expats like to live in Cairo are called uh, Zama Malik, uh, Heliopolis, Madi. So those are more uh, high-end areas uh, with a lot of um, with a lot of experts living there, with a lot of diplomats living there. Uh, those areas do have very good um, um, international schools. They do have very good private hospitals. Infrastructure in those areas um, is really good, and apartment buildings uh, are also very good. So, um, though in the recent years uh, the price per square meter in this area really started um, growing up. Um, so if you are possibly looking for a place uh, where you can, again, start exploring um, Africa, Cairo might be a good option. Or if you're looking for a place in Africa where you can start investing. So if you're still not sure whether you know Africa is a good place for you to invest or not, you can start by tapping into Egypt. Um, also in Egypt, uh, there are a couple of um, other locations that um, are uh, good for digital nomads. Uh, so it's Dahar, uh, one of the uh, bigger cities uh, in the country, um, and also Sharm el Sheikh, which is a very popular, um, you know, holiday destination for many people. Um, it is located on the sea, um, usually has a bunch of um, resorts, but um, private accommodation is also very good um, in that area. So 
if you prefer more a beach life, uh, Sharwell Sheikh might be an option for you uh, in Egypt. Other places in uh, North Africa that um, are preferred by digital nomads um, are uh, Marrakesh in Morocco. So for everyone who um, has been there or saw pictures, you can immediately see that it's a beautiful historical city. Um, it, it's also a big city. It does have a big infrastructure um, and it is still developing that area. So there are co-working spaces available. Internet speed is relatively good. Um, again, Cairo might be better for that one, but Marrakesh definitely has this uh, local charm. Uh, it's not um, way, uh, you know, it's not very urbanized uh, city. So if you're looking for a more local charming city, Marrakesh might be an option for you. Um, country authorities are really working to uh, make foreigners safe in the country. Uh, obviously, some things might happen and there is I mean, not a lot, but there is quite a number of scams going around the, the street um, and pickpocketing. Uh, but obviously, you know, some measure of precaution for that one are necessary. But other than that, um, you know, say it, it is relatively um, safe city to be in. Uh, Abidjan and Cote d'Ivoire um, is also one of very good city uh, cities to, um, you know, locate as a digital nomad. Unfortunately, neither um, Morocco or Cote d'Ivoire uh, have any digital nomad visa option. Cote d'Ivoire is announcing that they will um, introduce it um, over in the next couple of years. Um, so in these places, you can stay um, as long as your visa is uh, valid. Obviously, you can renew that, uh, but uh, there are no such thing as a digital nomad uh, visa. Obviously, multiple islands are on this list that tend to be uh, a bit more westernized, that tend to be um, way safer. Uh, one of places is uh, Capo Verde or um, Cape Verde, so a former Portuguese colony. A lot of digital nomads are choosing uh, islands of uh, Sol and Santiago uh, to be uh, located in uh, Capo Verde. Uh, the good thing is that it does allow digital nomad visa. The only thing that you need to show is that uh, in the last six months, you have at all the time maintained a balance of uh, on your account of um, 1,500 euros. Uh, so towards those six months um, and you can uh, apply for this six months uh, visa that is extendable. So application is extremely simple. You just go online, submit those documents. You will pretty much know the decision um, in the next couple of days. Um, and uh, once you um, land into international airport at uh, Capo Verde, uh, you will pick up your digital nomad visa at uh, border control. Uh, but it still has, the, this island has, uh, um, again, good infrastructure uh, required for digital nomads. Um, so internet, a couple of co-working spaces. So it's, uh, this is a group of islands, so um, the, it doesn't have that many. Uh, but also, uh, I think a lot of digital nomads love to be able uh, to work from beach bars over there. So plenty of, uh, plenty of those opportunities. And most importantly, cost of living are lower. Um, so you can basically live like a king for uh, six to eight hundred uh, dollars per month there in clothing rent. The next popular place is uh, Port Louis uh, in Mauritius. Um, so Mauritius is a group of islands. Port Louis is the most popular uh, because it is the only bigger um, city um, in this group of islands. So a lot of uh, digital nomads uh, are choosing to be located in Port Louis while being able to explore other beaches and other islands um, <laughs> any day that they would like. Uh, Mauritius does allow digital nomad visa, so very similar um, thing as in Cape Verde. Um, you need to demonstrate that you have 
income of $1,500 um, per month. Um, you need to also submit uh, proof of employment. So whether you are uh, self-employed or uh, you work for someone as a, as a contractor, or as a freelancer, you can just submit that. Or even if your employee uh, allows you to work remotely, like a verification from them, uh, this visa is valid for one year and it can be uh, renewed for additional uh, year. Mauritius is definitely one of the uh, biggest uh, kind of hubs for digital nomads uh, as of now in Africa. Uh, one of the big drone of Mauritius is that English is official language. Um, Mauritius is also a country that has um, residence by investment program um, and um, it's running this investment program for a couple of years now. Uh, it basically allows a permanent residence and citizenship down the road over the course of three to four years. Um, if you invest in real estate. We also have a video on that topic. So if you would like to hear more about uh, Mauritius residence by investment and how you can get um, you know, African uh, citizenship, um, which not many African countries do allow uh, citizenship and naturalization that fast, if that's something that you are interested in, um, you can uh, check the link uh, in the description below and we have a video on that topic. Victorian Seychelles is also one of the places that is often chosen by digital nomads. So Seychelles are known for its financial sector um, and um, offshore companies, very easy banking uh, there. Um, so a lot of digital nomads are choosing Seychelles for that reason um, as well. Taxes, uh, tax regime is also very preferable, so uh, that might be um, a plus. Seychelles do allow digital nomad visa. It is called Workation Retreat Program. You basically do need to submit through an online portal, uh, you know, proof of employment, like contracts, um, in order to uh, get this uh, visa. Um, besides um, these countries, there are a couple of other countries that unfortunately, uh, uh, as of now, do not allow digital nomad visas. So those are places in which you can go and stay um, only on your, um, on your tourist visa. But they are really nowadays becoming a hub for digital nomads who would like to uh, explore uh, Africa. Some of those places are uh, Kigali in Rwanda, which is constantly being on the top of list of one of the safest uh, places uh, to be in uh, Africa. Uh, Accra in Ghana, um, that is a huge city, uh, developing city with uh, nowadays infrastructure that is becoming better and better and is also a very good place uh, for investment um, and as well Laos in Nigeria a huge city 20 million people a bustling uh, amazing nightlife uh, I heard that from everyone who has been there uh, they only have very uh, nice descriptions um, of, of the city uh, so it might be worth uh, checking in a very popular tourist spot um, and also a popular spot for digital nomad visa is Zanzibar island in Tanzania um, that is really has amazing beaches uh, one of the most beautiful beaches uh, in the world so if you do prefer um, you know more um, calmer beach life that might be as well your option in Africa. If you would like to hear more about opportunities in Africa, um, including which countries do have residence by investment program, citizenship that can be um, obtained, uh, let us know in the comments below or visit um, our website nomadcapitalist.com for more details about that.